Let's go. Welcome to Holly on Tour. Now today I am at the beautiful home of Emma who has just returned from her first cruise on Royal Caribbean Brilliance of the Seas. Uh, so we're going to have a little chat with Emma to see how I got on and also to find out what happened when her case didn't turn up at the airport and she was due on the ship and how amazing was Royal Caribbean. Come on, let's go find out what happened. Thank you so much for letting me come and talk to you everything cruise today. We all want to know about how you were on Royal Caribbean. Is it was your first cruise. Yes. So why why did you decide to do a cruise and what holidays have you done before? Um well I've always I've done all sorts of holidays, um, usually go around travelling around, but um my friend has been on a few cruises and she absolutely loves them. So um there's four of us who go away together every year. And she went, she fancied going on a cruise, so she'd seen this one. And because it was around East Med, and, and it was all the places we really wanted to see, we went, yeah, why not? Did you do any research yourself before you went on the cruise? Um, she suggested it, then actually I was the one who went about and booked it then, as you know. Um, and, um, and, and yeah, we, ch we checked out that we wanted to go to the, all the, you know, the places that, that it had on it and this one just fit perfectly. When you booked this cruise, did you book online or did you go through a cruise agency or did you go through a cruise specialist? Oh, we went through a cruise specialist. Ah, yeah. did you? Yeah. And what was the reason behind that? Because I think that I like to have um, a, a person who I know is going to deal with it from start to finish. Yeah. Um, so if there's any problems and throughout the cruise, as when when we booked it and we we travelled into we actually went into Venice the day before, so we needed transfers. So it was it was really easy. They they just sorted it all out, and it was uh, you know you just felt like a uh, personal service when you do it that way. So then you went on a uh, Royal Caribbean Brilliance of the Seas yeah. for girls, a girls trip. Oh, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so how how was it? Uh, it was great. It was great. We um, we actually flew in the day before because we were going from Ravenna, but we, we wanted to see Venice. Um, so yeah, so we spent the night in Venice, which is fantastic. Yeah. I just highly recommend doing that if you're ever going to do you know go from Ravenna or whatever. But um, we yeah, it was it was great. We just had a little problem with the with the case. Ah, what happened with the case? Well, one of the girls, you know, one of the girls' cases didn't come through, but I have to say that um, Royal Caribbean were excellent in uh, in sorting it all out and um, and they managed to get it to us by day three. Well obviously four girls uh, you could all we managed. <laughs> we managed. You could all uh, give us some some of your clothes to wear. Yeah. Couldn't she? New couldn't... holiday clothes, new underwear. We're all all right. <laughs> so she was all right there. <laughs> How many days later did the case come from when you got it, on the cruise? It came on day three um, when we were on the cruise, and I have to say that the um, organisation from start to finish, from when you get to the airport and as they take you to you, you know to port um, and getting on the ship, I was absolutely dumbfounded on how perfect and how military precision it all is it was fantastic oh. but we got on the ship we obviously went to see the um you know the, the people on, on the ship who, who deal with that and they were really lovely and they said we'll take it over now and we'll get your case to you as quickly as possible we'll coordinate with the airport and um, by day three we're in Mykonos we got off ship um, and by the time we got back, the case was outside the door. So the Royal Caribbean take care of that and handle that oh, yeah. in, in the way that we did. Fantastic, yeah. they did absolutely fantastic. Um, but if we go again, which I'm sure we will do, we, uh, we're we all going to put bits of clothes in each of the cases <laughs> yeah. and you'll have your That's... 10 kilogram with you as well. <laughs> That's such a good idea though, isn't it? Yeah, it's to put off the share the cases, especially yeah. if you're a couple put half of his in one and hers in the same case. Yeah, well she was she did say she was really she was really fortunate that she'd come away with four girls rather than <laughs> her husband. <laughs> yes. Yeah that was lucky. 
So you're on board the ship. So what did you think? So you were on the Brilliance of the Seas. You were yeah. doing a seven night Eastern Med itinerary yeah. uh, for seven nights out of Ravenna yeah. Port. Yeah. So what did you think of the ship? First it impressions? It was lovely. It was really lovely. Um, we got there, as I say, it was like military precision getting in. Everybody, all the staff were lovely. Got to the, um, the the state room, and the cases are outside. Alex is there, our you know our cabin steward, and he was lovely. I couldn't fault the staff. Fantastic, absolutely great. Yeah, the ship was lovely, pristine. Everything was so clean. They do an amazing job, don't they? The yeah. staff on board. The oh yeah, they work so hard. Yeah. You step on that ship for the first yeah. time, what's the first thing you do when you get on board? Oh my god. What did you do? Was it the bar? The pool? Oh, we, 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 actually, we, went, up to, we went up to the pool in order to pee the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> I don't blame you. Is that your favourite cocktail? Um, well, I was having a few cute like royales. <laughs> Which brings me into the drinks package, because when you book a holiday with Royal Caribbean, they don't include the drinks package. You have to pay for that extra. So did, is that what you did? We did, and it was worth every single penny. It was. It was <laughs> worth it. And I'm not, you know, I'm not a big drinker, but even that, you know, you can get your coffee, specialty coffees, and you know, teas, and even if you just do want alcohol, you, you know, you, you you've got access to all all the other types of drinks. Um, but it was worth every penny. I do think it does depend on how much you drink. And how much you spend depends on whether. Uh, oh, hello! <laughs> We've got a little visitor. <laughs> hello, Casper. Uh, it does depend on, I think, whether you think it's worth it or not, doesn't it? Yeah, if definitely. Maybe, especially, like again, if one of you drinks and one of you doesn't, it's not worth paying the paying the drinks package because you've both got to have it, haven't you, in the cabin? You've got to both have it. So you've had your first day. Mm -hmm. uh, so and then you get to the cabin on a night. What about your cruise planner? So you, did you get your cruise planner on your bed when you got back to the cabin? And did you use it? Absolutely. Did day you? One, day two, day three. In fact, in fact, my friends brought them all back. She said, she oh, brought, she? Yeah, yeah, she kept them all, yeah. Um, yeah, we used it and to see what was going on, what shows were going on. Yeah, I must admit, that is one of my favourite times of the day. Having a meal, getting my jammers on, getting in bed, looking at the cruise planner yeah. and thinking and yeah oh, we can do that tomorrow we can do the quiz or so on a sea day what did you do during the day then on board um well we some we, we went up we sunbathed yes yeah. obviously it's beautiful yeah it's definitely fantastic. it's lovely you could find quiet places or you, you know you could be around the pool where it's a little bit busier and a bit livelier uh, but there's always something to do the brilliance of the seas is a beautiful ship. So, what about the food? Did you do uh, the main dining room, the buffet, or speciality restaurants? We did. Um, we did the wing jammer during the day. Yeah. Because it's, it's lunch. It's and easy. That's a it's a buffet. It's, yeah. I mean, there's everything you could want. You know, it's great. Um, then um, we did eat in the main dining on an evening, but the two two nights. We did speciality dining, and oh my goodness, it was fantastic. Oh, the food was well worth it. it so, was so worth which ones did you do? We did. Um, it's uh, the uh, uh, the Chinese. The, I see. Is it Izume? Izume. Izume. We did the Izume, and then we did the uh, chops grill, and that was beautiful. Was it? Yeah, it was lovely. I mean, from the minute you walk through that door, you are attended to. Uh, nothing's too much trouble and the food was delicious did you have to stay we did and yeah. it was like butter it was absolutely gorgeous yeah oh the food God. was it was it was well worth it four of us and we literally had everything and a bottle of wine um can't remember that bad even two it was about <laughs> probably about 120 pounds that was between four of us oh so that's really bad. good that wasn't bad no. at all and chop grill was a little bit more expensive um i think it worked out probably about 50 pounds a person but i didn't think that was too bad either oh it's a beautiful restaurant though chop grill. It, i mean the food's excellent so in the main pleased. dining as well and you, yeah. you can't fault it it's great but just for if you just want a little special evening if you're a couple or whether you just want to just do something a little bit different it's yeah. very nice yeah it was an eastern med itinerary yeah. 
What was your parts of Cole? Can you remember? Yeah, we did um, Olympia, yeah. uh, Mykonos, yeah. Santorini, um, and then we did Split. Oh, wonderful. So did you do your own thing or did you do a shore excursion with the ship? We didn't do any shore excursions because okay. with, it being, with it being our first one, we just we didn't, we didn't think we were just getting off ship, having a look around, finding our feet, really. Yeah. Um, Olympia was a change because we were supposed to go to Dubrovnik, but for some reason we went to Olympia. Um, so we just got the little train up to Olympia and had a look around and, and then and then just came back down and got back on ship, actually, and just enjoyed it while well, it was a little bit quieter. Quieter, yeah. yeah. And Mykonos is beautiful. It was lovely. It was really nice, was Mykonos. So everybody was, you know, everybody... Sun shone every day while we were on it, it was great. Um, but that's well worth going. I would go back again to Mykonos. Oh, would you? Yeah, I would go back again to Mykonos. And I think the, the cruise ships are great for, for a taster. What I would do is, um, in Santorini, everybody goes up to Fira, and there's, there was a, a lady um, who was going, you know, come come round because there's, uh, there's another place in the... Um, oh, I don't remember what it's called now anyway but she said get on the boat and but the people who had gone round on that said it was absolutely fantastic it was beautiful so Santorini we did the 600 steps oh <laughs> <laughs> that and that was that when you got to the top <laughs> <laughs> oh you were brave to we do were, that we well, just me yeah I so bet you needed a, a, a camera out at the end of that <laughs> <laughs> But so, no, it was well worth it was well worth the effort. It's it's a beautiful they're beautiful places to visit and I would love to go and visit them you know, later on in the season as well, when you know, when, when they're quiet and it's it's really nice. But I think cruise ships are fantastic in giving you a taste of what they what they're like. Do you know what it's really nice the fact that you've not cruised before or been to these places before and you've just got off and done your own thing yeah. and done and because sometimes and I understand if you've not been somewhere before yeah. sometimes you think oh book a sh- ship's excursion because you'll see more mm. by doing that but then uh, sometimes you just want to kind of not be as structured and do your own thing which is what you've what you did and you you enjoyed every single part. We did, yeah, we did, we did, we did. We enjoyed every single bit there. Um, we might do an excursion from the ship. Uh, we did try to do one one day, but they are obviously very very popular, yeah. and, and it was fully booked. Yeah. So we okay. just did our own thing. What beautiful parts. They're all called. beautiful. I think. Did you have a favourite one? Pretty. I think Mykonos is just so pretty. It's lovely, and all the whitewashed wash. wash streets and um, split was fantastic we loved it um, so that's your first cruise yeah. uh, done so are you going to do another um we shall see we shall see what comes up next year um we all said that it from start to finish the organization the attention to detail everything you couldn't you couldn't fault it it was great thank you uh for sharing your experience with me uh, I, I would absolutely love to do that itinerary. I think it's a beautiful itinerary. You should. And you had such a wonderful... And girls' trip as well. Yeah. When you're going with the girls, you had such a nice time together. Well, uh, you don't have to... I think sometimes people think, you know, it's, it's couple but we went as far girls and we had a great time. Well, fingers crossed you may do another one, but thank yeah. you so much for talking to me today. I have absolutely loved talking to you. And thank you for inviting me to your beautiful home as well. Thank you.